Hi, my name is Brad Constantine, and this is a podcast of the New Testament. I'll be using as the text the King James Version, along with the Joseph Smith Translation. Although this is not an official recording of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, every effort's been made to be as doctrinally accurate as possible. I'll also be using quotes from general authorities of the Church, the Apostles and Prophets, and BYU professors and others, and uh, every word out of the Scriptures themselves. So if you're ready for a really detailed analysis of the New Testament, you've come to the right place. Welcome. Hi, welcome back. This will be for 3 John, chapter 1. The heading to this chapter says, John commends Gaius for his help to those who love the truth. Uh, verse 1, the elder unto the, well bo- to the well-beloved Gaius. Uh, Bruce R. McConkie says that this might be uh, John's wife. I know it says... Um, Gaius for his help, but uh, mentions here that this might be John's wife, whom I love in the truth. Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospereth. For I rejoiced greatly when the brethren came and testified of the truth that is in thee, even as thou walkest in the truth. I have no greater joy than to hear that my children walk in truth. Beloved, thou doest faithfully whatsoever thou doest to to the brethren and to strangers, which have borne witness of thy charity before the church, whom, whom if thou bring forward on their journey after a godly, a godly sort, thou shalt do well. Because that for his name's sake they went forth, taking nothing of the Gentiles, we therefore ought to receive such that we might be fellow helpers to the truth. I wrote unto the church, but Diotrephes, who loveth to have the preeminence among them, received us not." receiveth us not. In John's last letter, we have our last snapshot of the photo album that is the New Testament. Like any photo album, it is given us a it, it gives us a view of things, but not the whole story. Likewise, Third John gives us a view of the apostasy tearing the church apart. The view is not a pretty one. As part of, their, of this brief letter, John spoke of a church leader named Diotrephes. I wrote, uh, which he uh, says, what a chilling picture, Diotrephes not only refused to accept John at the, as the head of the church, but spoke out against him and excommunicated those of his congregation who sustained John as head of the church of the Christian church. What a sad state of affairs. With such attitudes as this, to whom could John give priesthood authority and keys? With their rejection of John, they severed the final legitimate link of doctrinal and priesthood authority between Christ and the church that bore his name. Without such authority, the church could not exist or it would cease to exist. Shortly thereafter, the church did cease to exist as the only true and living church. That was by Bruce Satterfield. Verse 10, verse 10, Wherefore, if I come, I will remember his deeds, which he doeth, pratting against us with malicious words, and not content therewith, neither doth he himself receive the brethren, and forbidden, and forbiddeth them that would, and casteth them out of the church. Harold B. Lee said, During the early days of the church, we passed through a period of slander and misrepresentation, and we, and we came through. It drove us together because of enemies from the outside, and we survived it. We passed through a period of mobbing and driving when lives were taken and blood was shed, and somehow the place of the martyr gave us strength. We passed through poverty, and we gained strength from the test of it. Then we passed through an age of what we might call apostasy or betrayal from the inside. One of the severest tests through which we have passed we are not going through another we are now going through another test a period of what we might call sophistication this is a time when there are many clever people who are not willing to listen to the humble prophets of the lord and we have suffered from that it is rather a severe test sweet are the uses of adversity that was uh, again by Harold B. lee verse 11 beloved uh, beloved Follow not that which is evil, but that which is good. He that doeth good is of God, but he that doeth evil hath not seen God. Demetrius hath good report of all men, and of the truth itself, yea, and we also bear record, and we know that our record is true. And and I, I had many things to write, but I will not with ink and pen write unto thee, but I trust I shall shortly see thee, and we shall speak face to face. Peace be to thee, our friends. Salute thee. Greet the friends by name. So that's the end of the chapter and the end of the third epistle of John. So we'll see you next time. Bye.